Italy has returned its ambassador to Cairo, causing outrage from the parents of Giulio Regeni. The body of the 28-year-old Italian student was discovered in Cairo in February of last year. Yet we still don't know who is responsible for his torture and death. And while new reports point to Egypt's intelligence service, Regeni's parents say an investigation into their son's killer will be dropped now that Italy has normalized relations. Well, to discuss this, I'm joined from Rome by Riccardo Nuri. He's the lead coordinator for the Truth for Giulio Regeni campaign and spokesman for Amnesty International's Rome office. And from London, Mustafa Ragab. He's the director and founder of Egyptian Affairs UK. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, Ricardo, many people feel there hasn't been justice for Giulio Regeni. Uh, Regeni. Do you believe that Italy has decided to trade justice for political and economic interests with Egypt? Uh, yes, I think that we trade uh, justice for, uh, and truth for Giulio Regeni uh, for a political and economic interest. Um, I remember that my government, the Italian government, said that uh, the ambassador would not uh, return to Cairo until uh, we, we uh, got the truth. And unfortunately, on the 14th of August, uh, the Italian government decided to return the ambassador without any, uh, any possibility to have the, the truth for Giulio. So I think that, uh, uh, to, be, to be short, uh, Khalif Haftar is more important for Italy than Giulio Regeni. It's more important uh, to have good relationships with the, uh, the Libyan uh, general Khalif Haftar, sponsored by Egypt, than to try seriously to find uh, the names and the roles of those who uh, kidnapped, who tortured, and who who killed Giulio. Okay, so Mustafa Ragab, it's more important for, for Italy to have Khalifa Haftar on side. It's more important for, for them to have a relationship with the Egyptians in terms of the Zohar gas field and all the myriad economic and political interests than to, to have truth and justice when it comes to a murdered student in Cairo. Is that how you see it, Mustafa Ragab? Uh -huh. All right, let me first of all offer our deepest sympathy as Egyptian community uh, to the parents of Regini and to his friends and his family and his neighbors. It is a crime that is being committed, but so far no one could come up with any evidence like who did it. We only know where it was done, but no one can come up with any evidence that who did it. And I will actually go for the opposite It's what's being said. Uh, it's not trade against justice. Uh, the report from the American New York Times just coming out at the right time when the Italian government decided to send the ambassador back. And obviously, they have not decided to send the Italian ambassador back unless they were sure of what they're doing. But so this report so to come out in this significant what are you suggesting? time... What are you suggesting is, in terms of... What I'm suggesting here, there's always politics in the background, play the dirty games uh, okay, while so, Egypt is facing... Okay, so hold on. Crisis the New York Times reporter is called Declan walls. Walsh. Hold on, hold on for a second. The New, New York Times reporter is called Declan Walsh. Um, when you read it, it seems quite clear that there's been months of investigation going into the report. Um, what's your message to Declan Walsh? You, you somehow think that Declan Walsh has been no, orchestrated Walsh, or manipulated by someone behind the no, scenes? No. No, the report didn't come with anything new. When you do an investigation, you cannot rely on, I heard, as Obama said, you've got to come up with concrete evidence to say that the crime is done by so-and-so. And all what is in the report is just gathering all the information from day one up to date. But it didn't come with anything new. And it's a report that coming, as I said, in this significant time of the return of the Italian ambassador to Egypt just to halt this operation. Okay. And this was being done to Egypt all the time. So uh, let's Egypt ask is facing Ricardo. a lot of... Okay, you feel there's a conspiracy. Ricardo, where is the evidence? If you could briefly summarize the evidence, yeah. not all our viewers would have had the opportunity to maybe read the New York Times report or follow the story over the past two years. Mustafa Ragab says there's no evidence to show that Egyptian security officials were involved, 
Tell me what the evidence is, Ricardo, that suggests to you otherwise. All evidence uh, are saying that uh, Giulio Regini murder was a state killing. Uh, this is what the Italian prosecution are saying. Uh, this is even uh, what the uh, general prosecution of Egypt is saying because they are investigating on uh, uh, people belonging to the National Security Agency. So, nothing really new. Uh, of course, it's important that the collaboration between uh, the Italian prosecutors and the Egyptian prosecutors answer two very simple questions. Who gave the order to uh, arrest Giulio on 25th of January 16? Uh, who detained him secretly for nine days? Uh, who tortured in a very horrible way? And who killed him? Okay, These so are let me ask. Very simple questions let me ask Mustafa Rageb. No Mustafa Rageb, you said there was no evidence. To answer to. Certainly. Mustafa Rageb, you said there was no evidence, which, which is in a way yes. encouraging because it suggests that you don't believe the story of the criminals in the van who were then shot dead by the police and then conveniently later on at an apartment they found Regeni's passport and his ID and his, his student card and so on. To quote Minority Report, it seemed to be an orgy of evidence in, in the apartment. So if you say there's no evidence, you, it suggests that you don't believe that do you, story, do, do, right? you, do you call this evidence? Do you call this evidence? I'm I would be you. very surprised if you call this evidence. I'm asking this you if you don't believe evidence. that story, is... because a lot of members of state no, that... are pushing that story. No, the, the, the story is fine, but it's not evidence. The story that, yes, the, a passport was found, and uh, where it was found, they are thieves. Uh, what happened between them and the police is a different matter. We have a problem in Egypt. I mean, the, the authority always come up with a, st uh, a statement on the spot, and this is the problem in Egypt. They should wait for the investigation. They are uh, in a rush to get a result, and that's what they do wrong. But the statement that comes out in every incident, not only with Regini, mm -hmm. with a lot of incident, they quickly coming out with a statement that put them in trouble. Okay. But this incident you're talking about is no evidence at all. Okay. It's a gang okay. of thieves okay. who That's were caught in the street of Cairo and the uh, belonging for Regini was found with them. Whether they are the ones who tortured Regini and killed him, that's a different matter. Okay. Let me then ask you, let's take the quotes from the former Obama administration officials. Let's put them aside. You, you disregard them. They're in the New York Times article where <laughs> the Obama administration officials, uh, let's take it and put it aside, but they, they say that there was clear evidence of the Egyptian state's culpability in the murder of Regini. Let's put that aside. Something do you, that is, do well, you hold think, on, let me, let me finish my you, question, please. Do you sir. think? I'm putting it aside. Just, I'm putting it aside. I'm, I'm not including yeah. it on the record, but let's put it aside. Nabil Sadiq, the chief prosecutor, had admitted that they were investigating, Egyptian intelligence was investigating Regini as a suspected spy, right? That is factual, that is truthful. And we also know that he was beaten, he was burnt, he was stabbed, he was flogged, all sorts of heinous things happened to him. With all of that in mind, knowing Egypt, knowing the country's history, knowing what happens to people in Egyptian prisons, especially those who are suspected of being spies or members of, of terror groups, I, I is it likely... Too long. Are, you asking, are, you, are you asking a question or are you making a statement? I'm I mean, asking you with those two things in mind, you sir. Are, no. With those you're, two things in mind, is it likely a that a security let me tell you or something. intel let me tell you agency something. did we something are fully for you? aware. Tell me. We are fully aware of what is happening with the Brotherhood campaign against Egypt and Turkey. We're fully aware of that. And no. I'm, I'm sure from what you say now... The Muslim now, Brotherhood didn't give me my questions to ask you, sir. I'm well, asking you something give, very simple. Can you simple. give me a chance to answer? Wait, hold on. You are saying... You are saying I'm not Obama a member of the Muslim said, Brotherhood. Okay. They didn't give uh, me a question to ask you. Uh, I'm asking you but, again. But I'm going to repeat the question. Turkey, sir, Turkey let me, let me is repeat very the question. well known for can I repeat the question? for the Brotherhood against Egypt. May I repeat the question, sir? You're deflecting. You May I repeat saying, the question? No, I, I know the question. Let me answer the question. So answer the question. You're saying that Obama said. Do you think if Obama has had concrete evidence, he wouldn't pass it to the Italian government? He would, of course. There is no evidence. The only relying on someone coming in a newspaper. Yeah, because if it implicated say, them, they said. wouldn't. If it implicated them, maybe they we wouldn't to want to accept we it. We have to respect our. I will have to respect our brains. I will never, ever, if I was an investigator and I'm not, rely on someone said Obama said. 
if Obama has I told any, you, Obama, I asked Obama you, sir, let's, let's why disregard do come, that. Why do we come nowadays and say Obama said? Let's why disregard that. Said forget Obama, Obama forget power. the Obama uh, uh, officials. The yes. fact that he was being investigated why, why as a spy... Why are you going to forget about Obama now? The fact that he was are investigated as a spy... Are you Obama then? The chief prosecutor admitted he was being investigated Fine. as a spy, and then he was tortured and killed. Do the two not what? match in any way whatsoever? Is, is that evidence? I will always come back to you and say, is that evidence? Does it give you, you have cause to question for concern? Yourself. You have to respect my intelligence. What are you saying is stories? Stories you, are not evidence. You, you can never You're claiming rely on Muslim this. Brotherhood Look, conspiracies in my know, questions, and you're know, talking about respecting we, we intelligence. Know. Sir. I've, answered, I've answered your question, but what I'm telling you is that Egypt is facing a huge campaign because they have not succeeded to do in Egypt what they've done in Libya, Syria, and Iraq. So they're still trying with all means to do the same in Egypt somehow, but it will never succeed because the Egyptian people in Egypt are after their government. But we come to the issue that we're discussing in this program, which is the truth about Regini. The truth about Regini should be found. But let me tell you something. There's a lot of crimes around the world, and when the intelligence people involved, it's very, very difficult to find the truth. And then with Regina's story, there is involved, the Mossad is maybe involved, well, the uh, intelligence in other countries may be involved, hold on. You're more likely, other people may be you're involved. You're more likely to include the Mossad and not the Egyptian intelligence. Where did Israel come, come into this? I don't understand. Um, uh, well, from but the real book, you can read that he's had an Israeli girlfriend. Oh, I see. And the Israelis are very, very intelligent in recruiting people to work for them. But you're telling so me about I'm, evidence. I'm not getting it from my imagination. You're telling me about what evidence, but then you. you're suggesting somebody having an Israeli girlfriend suggests that they are a Mossad agent. Uh, I'm not saying it's, I said it might be involvement. Oh, right. This is not evidence. Okay. This is uh, defined between. Can you bring my friend Ricardo to the conversation? And what we want to hear from him, we want to support him. Hold in on. Finding I'll ask the Ricardo truth. the questions. I'll ask Ricardo the questions. So, Ricardo, let me sort of try and move this forward now. The Italian government has sent back its ambassador. Relations are fine as things stand. There's still a campaign that wants the truth and wants justice for Giulio Reggini. What are you and Giulio's family going to do next, sir? Well, uh, now that the Italian government has decided to, to return the ambassador to Cairo, uh, we will uh, ask uh, the government to let us know regularly which progress, which developments are uh, made in the investigations, because uh, what the, the Italian government said is that uh, there are something new in the cooperation between the Italian and uh, the Egyptian uh, prosecutors, and uh, we feel that uh, the return of the ambassador will uh, help find the truth for Giulio. So we uh, will check what will happen. Uh, but let me let me tell you about. I'm not interested in uh, discussing on. Uh, political issues, because this is a human rights issue, and nothing more, nothing else, nothing different. So I'm not interested in the, um, in the uh, Muslim Brotherhood. I'm not interested in this uh, intelligence, uh, foreign uh, intelligence. Even the uh, chief prosecutor, Nabil Sadek, said that Julia was not a spy. He was a peaceful uh, man. Uh, with nothing to hide. So, uh, what we should uh, may make clear is that for those who know very well the human rights situation in Cairo, uh, this is a very simple story of a human rights violation because it follows a pattern of uh, detention, disappearances, torture, and killing that is exactly happened in the same format, in the same pattern, to hundreds of Egyptians mm -hmm. uh, without name, because we are not inter we in Italy, we are not interested in Egyptians who disappear, Egyptians who are tortured. This is the point. The, could, this could have been a normal story of a human rights violation in, in Egypt if Giulio were an Egyptian. Okay, Mustafa Regeb and Ricardo Nori. That's it for this edition of the Newsmakers. Next time, they're Africa's deadliest terror group. We examine Al-Shabaab and ask if the U.S.'s expanding operations 
are helping or harming Somalia's security. Until then, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.